But you in the Quran, how your God glorify God? So he say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. As long you are against God the glorifying God, for us it's not a problem because we believe in the Trinity. For you, Allah glorifying who? Are you there, Abdul? You see, I'm using your uh, I'm, I'm using your logic. This is your logic. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Allah is saying in the name of Allah and the most gracious, most merciful. And then he say, Praise be to Allah. Are you there, Abdul? Hello. Hello. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Wa alaikum assalam. So what you want to call me? What do you want to say? Did you hear what we were saying? There's a guy who was no, no. speaking about uh, uh, the miracle of Al-Isra and Al-Mi'raj. What do you say? Is it a true yes. miracle? Is that a miracle? All right. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, that, that that was a very miracle. It was a miracle event. Yes, he went to the seven heavens there. He spoke to Moses. G and, okay, you know what? In the front, of, in the front of everybody, if you show me where in the Quran it says that Allah He took him to the seven heavens, I'm going to shave my beard. I'm going to 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 apologize from you, and you are my hero. No, not in the Quran. No, not in the Quran. Not in the Quran. So why you are saying Allah He took him to heaven? <laughs> So why? So okay. So in the hadith it says that, but the Quran never say that. So why Allah yes. did not say? He, why Allah did not say I took him to heaven? But in the story, the story is different from the Quran. Yes. Why is different? Why is different? The Quran, the Quran does not mention oh. heaven at all. Hadith is the complementary of the Quran. My friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. If yes. if this is a very important thing to mention, if Allah took him to heaven, why he don't mention that I took you to heaven? What, what I, can't ask, I, can't ask, I can't ask I can't ask questions to say why did you not put this there? Why do you put this? Hadith is a complimentary. I'm not, so I'm asking, not asking you to ask questions, I'm asking you to answer me. If this yeah, is what asking. Allah no no, if Allah he did that, this is more important than taking him to Jerusalem because I can go to Jerusalem now, it's not a big deal. Yes. Okay. The miracle then, if there is a miracle, it should be about taking him to heaven. Do you agree? That is miracle, yes. Okay. What is the miracle in the Quran? It's not in the Quran. So, uh, so there's no miracle then, because if if there's a miracle happen, Allah should mention the miracle, not something silly. If I go to Jerusalem right now, yesterday I was in Texas. What a big deal! Okay, is that a miracle? No, anyone can go there. Is that is it a miracle to go uh, uh, to Jerusalem? No. So where is the miracle? So you Muslims, you speak about a miracle. Obviously, it's a fabricated uh, story. There's no, no proof. Because no, no, no. You know, it's, you know, it's not fair. Okay, my friend. Who, who is the witness? Who is the witness for Muhammad going to heaven? If there's a witness. Who's the witness for five hundred? Who's the witness for five hundred people coming from the grave walking like zombies? Who's the witness for that? The Quran says that. Are you saying the Quran is lying? No, no, no. Okay, no, hold, on, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go yeah, with you. Yeah, I will yeah, go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you. Muhammad he came 600 years after Jesus he was not in the time of Jesus yet he says Jesus here he resurrect people from the grave what is the proof that Muhammad is saying the truth I will go with you you see I'm going with you Muhammad came 600 years hold on hold on you see I'm using your logic my friend my friend my friend don't jump your logic this is your logic Muhammad was not there 600 years after he said to you something you believe it why you are being hypocrite Okay, let's read the Bible. What it says, my let's friend, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm not don't change the, no, I'm they not are changing the topic. How you accept Muhammad to witness to Jesus that he resurrected people from the grave, but he was not there? Who, how do you accept that? Explain to me first, and then you go you go to the verse in the Bible. Okay, it doesn't say it's, what he's talking about 500 people. Come, my friend, it doesn't matter. It says in the Quran, he's he can resurrect anyone he wants. Doesn't matter if they are 500 or 500,000. It can be 500 million. The Quran says anyone Jesus can resurrect him from the grave. Jesus said to them, I resurrect to you from the grave that did one, which means it doesn't matter how many. It doesn't matter who. He can do that. Now I'm asking you, why you believe Muhammad saying that he, Jesus, can do that, but you don't believe the Bible saying that Jesus did that? The Bible doesn't say Jesus did that. The Bible doesn't say Jesus did that? No. Well, no, Jesus, no, the, if, what, if I show you a verse from the Bible that says Jesus is erecting a guy, his name is Elazar from no. the grave, what you would do? I look about Lazarus. <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend, listen. I'm not about Lazarus. Listen, listen, I'm listen, not listen, listen. Lazarus. So, are you, are you saying that you're a prophet? He did lie when he said Jesus resurrected people from the grave. Do you even know what I'm talking about? 
I'm, I know what you are talking about, and you are trying to avoid the question. Did did Jesus did Jesus in the did Jesus in the Quran resurrect people from the grave? And there is witnesses, yes or no? For thirty seconds, let me see for thirty seconds again. Mm. Okay, what I'm talking about is when Jesus when Jesus in your Bible resurrected five hundred people walk up from the grave. Jesus never resurrected them; they woke up on the accord of not Jesus. So because of his power, Wait. because of his power, when the uh, when the Messiah he is resurrected power, from the grave, power, he resurrected no with him. Abdul, Abdul, don't explain to me my Bible to me. No you do not know my no Bible. Power. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you now. Are you saying? No are you saying? Are you saying that Jesus cannot resurrect five hundred people? Yes or no? But you never in the Bible. Why are you lying on the scripture? Well, show me, show me, by the way, show me the 500. Where's the 500? I, I saw a movie, it's called the 300. Is that the one you are talking about? Like zombies, they resurrected like zombies. Well, the zombie is your prophet because your prophet he met with, with Musa, he went with Abraham, he met with Adam when he went in his journey. They, this is the zombie. How they are dead, but yet they are there. Did Allah is the uh, Listen, listen, you see, I will go with you, your logic. Let's show you how stupid your logic. When uh, when you're a prophet, he went to the 7 11 heaven and he said he, he saw Musa and he saw Abraham and he saw uh, all the prophets, including uh, uh, Elijah, whatever he claimed. So those are zombie or those are real? Why you hang up? Hello? Did you hang up? Are you there? Hello. Zombie, it's your prophet who saw zombie. According to Islam, Musa's Musa's he's still dead. Hey Abdul, do you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. You're a prophet, he saw Musa's in the heaven. No, was was, was Musa's a zombie there or he was resurrected for real? You're digressing. I'm asking you. Was, no, was, no, was, was he was he was he was he answer was he you are the one who opened the topic don't run away from it when you open a topic let us finish it when muhammad when muhammad he saw Musa's in the heaven was he meeting with zombies or this is a re-resurrection is Musa's now in the grave according to islam or he is he is alive in heaven why you change the subject i'm not you are the one who mentioned zombie Okay, listen, let's carry on with the Bible first. We are not changing the topic. Answer, you are, I'm getting you busted. I'm spanking you. This is why you don't want to answer. We are talking about the same topic. Don't worry. I have all the time for you. We'll spend the whole day talking. So answer me. When all, when Muhammad, he saw Musa and Abraham and Adam and Noah and, and, and even Isa, he saw them in the heaven. Did he see real people or those they were zombie? And ask that question again. <laughs> when you're a prophet, he went to the seven heaven. He saw in his way Musa's, Adam, Abraham. You're breaking up, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. Yeah, guys, am I, do you hear me, guys? Am I heard? Is my voice coming to you? Okay, can I first can I say my comment first before you say yours? Do you hear me? Okay, behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two my, from top to bottom. My friend, my friend, my friend, you see, you see, you see, you're, you're scared, you're scared, you're scared, you're you scared. You are the one who is scared. You are a kid, you are a kid, you are a kid, you are, you are a zombie, you are a follower of a zombie. How you're a prophet, he say he met Musa when Musa is dead, never been resurrected. How you're a prophet, he saw Abraham when Abraham is dead, never resurrected. Your prophet, he lied, he said he is the first to be resurrected in the day of judgment. How he lie and he say he saw Abraham and Moses and Isa and, and all the prophets. He saw them in his journey. It is a lie or it is a true. So they are zombie because Islam confirmed that nobody resurrected and to go to heaven. There's only one person in heaven from the earth now. Only one person. That is Isa. So how Muhammad he met with Moses and Adam and Abraham in heaven? It's a miracle. What a miracle! Your prophet, this is the contradiction. Your prophet, he said he will be the first to be resurrected. Don't you know that? Listen, Wallahi, you're so scared to read Bible. Are wow. you? Do you? Do you deny what your prophet said that he is the first to be resurrected? Zombie is coming out of the grave. See, here we go. The, the zombie is you. The zombie is you. Muhammad is the zombie. Your prophet, he slept inside the grave with the dead women. He is a zombie. Is that the true? Okay. He says yeah, the earth shook the rock. Yes, yes or no? 
Uh, yes or no? Did your prophet escaped. sleep with the women in the in, in the grave? Yes or no? Okay, the earth was shook, the rocks were split, the tombs were opened, <laughs> many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Whoa, zombies having come out. This is zombie, this is a miracle, this is the power of God. Hey, hey, this? Just you don't want to answer, just get lost. This is the verse is approving the power of Jesus. Just because he's a reject is a, is a resurrected from the grave, people coming out with him, and those are the saints, not everybody. You don't want to answer because you are a coward. Call me back and be a brave man and answer. How you are a prophet, he saw the zombie in his heaven when they are dead. Isn't it your prophet? He said he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment, which means Abraham and Adam and Moses and all those people, they are not resurrected yet. How dare you to lie to us, Muhammad? How that can be? Obviously, Muhammad is a scam because this is a contradiction for his teaching. Either you are the first to be resurrected or you are not the first to be resurrected. If Moses and Adam and Noah already they are in heaven, it's mean Muhammad. Are you going to answer or not? Why did you end the call? Abdul, are you going to answer or not? Did you end the call? Why you are going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? I have no time for kids. Oh, you skipped answer my question. I answered you, Abdul. I answered you. Why we need, why we need to repeat again? Those are people because of the power of Jesus, because he is God. All the saints came out with him. It's not about 500, it's about anyone he wants to resurrect. He can resurrect, and the Quran confirmed that. Thank you very much. We see this now. Answer, I am saying that to you. Didn't you ask me? Didn't you ask me? You read the verse for me. I answer you. Didn't you ask me for the answer? I gave you the answer. You don't, you don't like it, bite your teeth. If you don't like it, bite, bite your lips. Now, answer me. How Muhammad he says he is the first one to be resurrected, but yet we find Moses and Adam and Abraham waiting for me and for him in the heaven. Okay, that, that could be a, uh, an imagery. It could be I was imaginary, guys. Did he say imaginary? This guy he is saying Muhammad is a liar. A no, second no. ago, a second ago, you said that the miracle is true. He went to heaven. Now you are saying imaginary. Guys. This guy, did, did you hear it? This is recorded. This will be in YouTube. People, I, I, I advise everybody to copy this part. So Muhammad was yes. imagining that he went to heaven, and oh, it I was a lie. Did he was. Did he was a tea? Did he? I just said. You said that. You said that. You said he's no, imagining. He, me, you said he was imagining. You said. You me off, man. Did you say he was imagining? No, yes never. or no? Did no, you say never. that? No, did... I never. No, I never. You cut me off. Let me speak. No, you said that. You said he was imagining. Everybody no, heard you. you. Everybody heard you. Okay, they all heard me. Yes, but you cut me off half a thing when I speak. <laughs> okay, so it starts from where you you, you stop. He was imagining. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Basically, you asked me if Muhammad seen Jesus, Mary. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Jesus. Uh, what was it called? Musa. And uh, was it called Ibrahim? Was that your question? He saw them in heaven. Are they there yes, for real? Is. Are they there for real, or they are not resurrected yet? And um, was that hadith? Or was that the Quran? Can you scroll up for one second? I will show you what it is. You you, you claim that you have knowledge. You want to teach me from the Bible, but yet you do not know what your prophet said. How can that? How can that happen? No, you I never. Know, you never heard. Are you saying to me you never heard that your prophet he uh, spoke? It, 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 he saw Moses and he saw Adam and he saw uh, uh, Abraham. He saw them in heaven. Are you saying that? Abdul, I'm asking you a direct question. Don't tell me. Don't repeat yourself. You're, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? You're a prophet. He did not. You never heard that your prophet. He met with Abraham and Adam and Mo and Moses and Isa in heaven. He did. Never heard that before. I did. You did or you did not? I did not hear you. Say, say again. I did. You did. So why you are shy? I mean, why you okay, say I did? Okay. So you did. So now, when your prophet he saw them in heaven, they were alive for real, or it was imaginary, as you said. Can you pull up the reference so we can be sure? My friend, this is the question. As long you know, you know he saw them. There's no need for reference anymore, and we will show the reference, no problem. But I want you to show to give me the answer. When he saw them okay. there, was it for real? It was, or it was imaginary, as you said two minutes ago. It was real. It was real. Okay, mm. guys, did he say it was real? I want you, I want you to remember that. If we go in the Quran and if we go in the hadith, we'll find Muhammad he's saying that he was the first one to be resurrected. There's nobody resurrected yet. Oh, that was um, that was a miracle. What a miracle, Abdul. You just said to me that it was real. So nobody yes, is resurrected because if Adam is dead, if Noah is dead, if Moses is dead, if all of those names are dead, Abraham is dead, how they are in heaven when your prophet he confirmed that he would be the first one to be resurrected. The, the hadith in front of you from Sahih al-Bukhari read with you. 
Okay, let me. Uh, where, where is it? Is it on the screen? It's in the screen, yes. No, it's not on the Skype screen. Is it on YouTube screen or the screen? Oh, hold on. Let me show you, be sure that it is people, they can see it. Here we go. All right, now it's in the screen. Sorry. Go ahead. One second. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. I can show you the same tons of things. All of them, they are confirming one thing. That Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. How he yes, was makes such a lie. If Abraham and Moses and all the prophets, he saw them already in heaven. How he say that he will be the first to be? He says that he says that he will be raised. He will be the first resurrected on the day of judgment. Yes. 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 Yeah. So nobody is resurrected yet. He is the one to be to because people will not be resurrected, my friend. This month or next month is going to be in the day of judgment. Are you a fool or what? No, you're a fool. Are you saying I'm to me about... you Muslims believe that there's people resurrected before the judgment day? Okay, let's read that. Bring up that what's it called uh, Isra al Miraj. It is in, in front of you. It's in front of you. This is about this is about this is about here the story about what you are talking about. That you're yes. a prophet, you're a prophet, he said, in the day. In the day, which is the day of bath, hmm? what do you say? What do you say? It's in the front of you. I'm showing you the, the reference. What's wrong with you? No, one second, because let me show you. You, you want to show, show you a short hadith? Okay, I will show you a short hadith. Here we go. Are you sharing it on the screen, Skype, or on YouTube? No, in YouTube. Oh, that's why I was checking the Skype. Was oh, okay. I, I'm not going to share. I cannot share both in the same time. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the people will go. Doesn't matter who this is your prophet saying who is Abu Huraira? The guy, the father what of the cats, it? the father of the cats. So, uh, he says I'll be the first. Who care? Who care? Who care? Who is he? This is Sahih Bukhari. Your prophet is talking, and this is a Sahih Hadith. Why are you so uh, aggressive every time? You my speak? friend, because you are wasting my time. Does it say that or not? Oh, you're wasting my time. You're Am I lying or this is what it says? This is in the front of you. This is the story. This is the hadith. This is the reference and it is sahih. So what we will do now? Well, it says that he'll be the first person to be resurrected. Yes, it says there. I will be the first person. Person, I'm just quoting exactly. I will be yes, the I first. I will be the first person to be resurrected. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with that? Okay. Hold on. If he is the first person to be resurrected, how he will see Musa holding no. the throne? He will be the first person resurrected on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. Yes. So, don't so try, how he see Abdul? How he will be the first person to be resurrected, and already Musa is, is there. How uh, how he will be the you. first to be resurrected, and Musa already there. Musa is already there. Yes, it says in the same hadith in the front of your eyes. I will be the first person to be resurrected. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a drunk, obviously. He is the first one to be resurrected, but he will saw Moses before him holding what the throne. Okay, that had he basically saying after I was equal, he would be the first person resurrected and is not including Moses. Thank you very much. Guys, did he say that this is not including Moses? So what yes, Moses is so how come he saw Moses there already if he is the first yeah. one to be resurrected? Are you saying that's a contradiction? Abdul, it's obvious it's Moses is already holding the throne. He will wake up from the grave. Allah will resurrect him and he will be the first one to be resurrected. And you are the one who said to me a second ago, Moses is not included. Thank you very much. So that is confirmed. So, so how he how he will see Moses holding the throne there if he is the first one to be resurrected? Are, are you are you confusing? This is what I'm trying to say to you. Moses is holding the throne and Mo and Muhammad will be resurrected and you will see Moses. Okay, so is Moses is Moses resurrected before Muhammad? And according to this hadith, that's what that's what I see right now. But then how he say I will be the first to be resurrected? If Musa is already resurrected before him, how he is the first to be resurrected? Okay, the hadith is saying, I will be the first person to be resurrected. Right. Is, see it, Abdul, Abdul, if I say I am the first man to be resurrected, it means there's nobody else to be resurrected before me. As simple as that. I oh. am the first. Do you know what first mean? Do you know what first oh, mean? Read. So how he is the first to be resurrected, yet Musa is there. Okay, the hadith, let's read from the top. It says the people will fall unconscious on the day of the re resurrection. Then suddenly I will see Moses holding one of the pillars of the throne. So basically Moses is already there before Muhammad. 
Mm. So you understand that. So okay. okay, I understand that. Thank you very much. I, this is what I'm saying. Your prophet, when you claim that your prophet, he went to the seven eleven heaven. He saw Abraham. He saw Isa. He saw uh, Moses. He saw Ishmael. He saw all the group, all all, all, all the gang. So now, when he went there in seeing the Muslim gangs in the heaven of Muhammad, how they are there if he is the first one to be resurrected? This is what we are talking about. Okay. And. Um. So basically, I'm trying to say to you, if you read the hadith in context, you say Moses will be there before Muhammad in the hadith. I know. Thank you very much. Why we are repeating ourselves? So, you said that already. This is the question. So, Listen carefully, Abdul. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Relax. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Moses is already. Okay. Moses is already there. Abraham is mm -hmm. already there. He said no, Abraham. already. Abraham, no, is not though. Is not is, there. Does he say that? He doesn't say that in the hadith. You no, know, I'm asking you. I, I, doesn't matter. This hadith or not. Is Abraham there or not? What in I'm asking you, is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? What? What, what, what are you confusing? Are you talking about Israel or Are you talking about the day Abdul? It doesn't matter. Is it doesn't Abraham? Matter. It, doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because if it's an Israel, if he is in Israel, Miraj, where Muhammad he saw them, he saw them in heaven, so they must be in heaven. So is yeah, Abraham good. is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? Say it again. Let me say again. Is Abraham okay. now in heaven? Yes or no? Not in body, not in body, but in spirit. His spirit. So Muhammad did not see his body. He saw his spirit. And uh, maybe can you pull up that was a good reference? Abdul, what do you mean maybe? Let's be fair. Let's be, let's, let's be fair. Let's hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Listen carefully. Muhammad, okay. he, this guy, he's saying the prophet mm -hmm. he saw Abraham in his spirit. How you can see the spirit of Abraham? Okay, let's pull up the uh, hadith. Well, we don't try to uh, trick people. Let's pull up the hadith where he says, oh, oh, Before we go to any Moses. hadith, my friend, before we go to any hadith, explain to me what do you mean when you said that he saw him maybe in a spirit? Yeah, basically, you're saying uh, in body, obviously, when you die, your body dies, but your soul lives on. Mm, okay, so okay, so that's what I'm trying to say to you. Maybe the hadith is talking about when he spoke to uh, who's it called? Mm. Isa and uh, was called Musa. He probably saw them in uh, in another form other than the body. So they are dead oh, or they are resurrected there? Are they dead? Because if I am in heaven, I am resurrected. Okay, listen, when you die, you don't die. You don't my you, friend. You, no, it doesn't matter if I die or not. I am I am dead. Yeah. I am dead, yeah. and now I am in heaven. Is that resurrection or not? Say again. If I am dead, should I go yeah. to heaven directly or I need to wait for the day of resurrection, my friend? Uh, you have to wait for and uh, resurrection. Thank you very much. So and that yeah. will it's be different. It's different. It's different for the prophet. My friend, what do you mean? Wait, so, okay, show me where it says. Show me where it says that the prophet. Show me. Show me where it says. Me where it says, says show me where it says that the prophets of God. Hold on. Show me where it says that the prophet of God. They go to heaven directly. Well, you're trying to obviously they do. Hundred percent they're gonna go to uh, uh, heaven directly. Where it says that? What is where it says what it says that? What is it where it says that? If you're a prophet, you said listen, listen, are you saying to me your prophet is not a prophet? I don't see why you because you just said prophets of God will go to heaven directly. You're a prophet, he said, I will be the first to be resurrected, which means until now he is not resurrected. So you just admitted that the prophet of God only they can go to heaven. Hold on, hold on, guys. Do you see do you see how stupid what he said? Did you notice what he said? Hold on, let me let me explain. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You said, you said. You said the prophets of God already they go to heaven. You said only new normal people they stay until the day of resurrection. Thank you very oh, much. Only dies, normal people died. they stay until. The, oh, shut up! Let me explain what you oh, said. Hold, you blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much for calling me. You are a price. I should pay you. I should pay you. Honestly, you are like Muhammad Hijab. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Only, only normal people they will stay in earth. Only normal people they will stay in earth. But the prophet of God they will go to heaven directly. Everybody heard you saying that. And your yeah, prophet said he is the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. You so saw you admitted that Muhammad is just a normal man. He's not a prophet. Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. So how you, you, you contradict yourself? You are the one who said to me, normal people they will not go to heaven. Why, but why you prophets of God, you said that it's recorded. People they can play it back. Play back, play back. It, it, no, we, it, I, I'm not going to play it back now. You play it back. Can you play it back for me? Okay, basically, what I'm trying to can say. Can you play it back for me? Go back in the video, please. I, I, we can hear the, the sound from your side. Go ahead. Go okay. back to three minutes in the in YouTube, three minutes or four minutes, and play it back. We are listening. Sorry, you can play it back. You, you cut me off while I was. Okay, speaking, let, so let, let, me, let me play it back, please. Uh, I will hang up on you, and you call me back when I finish playing. Okay, I will go back.
Let us see if we can reach the moment when these guys start talking. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, the way in the sky. Uh, uh, Sorry, guys. I'm just searching for the his voice when he and calls me. Guy, his name. His name. Let's see. I'm searching for his voice in the recording. Look like you too. Uh, a... You see, we are still in the point where my Who voice is bad. When I call me and tell them they have half a brain. It could be 500 or 500,000. It can be 500 million. Yes or no? He never in the Bible. Why lying on the scripture? He's alive in heaven. Why he change the subject? I'm not. You are the one who mentioned zombie. Okay, listen. You're scared. You're scared. You are the one who is scared. I'm moving in the recording. Let us see. This is the verse is approving the teeth. If you don't like it, bite, bite your leg. Or it was imaginary, as you said. Here we go. Listen. Pull up the reference so we can be full. My friend, this is the question. As long as you know, you know he saw them. There's no need for reference anymore. And we will show the reference, no problem. But I want you to show, to give me the answer. When he saw them there, was it for real? It was, or it was imaginary, as you said two minutes ago. It was real. It was real. Okay. So, you guys, now he said it's real. Later, he will say it's imaginary. The same person, the same person who called me, first in the beginning, he said it's real. Then he said, he, he swallowed his tongue and he said it's imaginary. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Guys, did he say it was real? I want you, I want you to remember that. If we go in the Quran, if we go in the hadith, we'll find Muhammad and he's saying that he was the first one to be resurrected. There is nobody resurrected yet. Oh, that was a... Um... That was a miracle. What the miracle, Abdul? You just said to me that it was real. So nobody is resurrected because one call, one one call. if Noah is dead, if Moses is dead, if all of those names are dead, Abraham is dead, how they are in heaven when you're a prophet, he confirmed that he would be the first one to be resurrected. The, the hadith in the front of you from Sahih al Bukhari, read with you. Okay, let me. Uh, where, where is it? Is it on the screen? It's in the screen, yes. No, it's not on the Skype screen. It's on YouTube screen. Or the screen. Oh, hold on. Let me show you. Be sure that it is people. They can see it. Here we go. All right. Now it's in the screen. Sorry. Go ahead. One second. Hmm. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Buk Sahih Muslim. I can show you the same tons of things. All of them. They are confirming one thing: that Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected. Yeah, look, I see. Hmm. How he yes, was make such a lie if Abraham and Moses and all the prophets he saw them already in heaven? How he say that he will be the first to be? He says that he, says that he will be raised, he will be the first resurrected on the day of judgment. Yes. 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 So nobody is resurrected yet. He is the one to be to because people will not be resurrected, my friend. This month or next month is going to be in the day of judgment. Are you a fool or what? Oh, Are you saying to me you Muslims believe that there's people resurrected before the judgment day? Okay, let's read uh, bring up that was it called uh, Israel marriage. It is in the front of you. It's in the front of you. This is about this is about this is about here the story about what you are talking about. That you're a prophet, you're a prophet, he said, in the day. In the day, which is the day of bath, hmm? what do you say? What do you say? It's in the front of highlight. you. I'm showing you the, the reference. What's wrong with you? No, one second, because let me show you. You, you want to show, show you a short hadith? Okay, I will show you a short hadith. Here we go. Are you sharing on the screen, Skype, or on YouTube? No, in YouTube. Oh, that's why I was checking the Skype. Okay, now I want you to focus in this part. Here we go. We arrive to the reality time. Here, we will get him busted. He said he did not say that. Listen carefully what he was saying. Oh, okay. I, I'm not going to share. I cannot share both in the same time. Okay. Hmm. okay. Is, is that Abu Doesn't matter who. This is your prophet saying. Who is Abu Huraira? The guy, the father of the cats? The father of the cats? Yeah, he says I'll be the first. Who person care? Who care? Who care? Who's he? This is Sahih Bukhari. Your prophet is talking, and this is a Sahih Hadith. Why are you so uh, aggressive? All the time my friend, you? because you are wasting my time. Does it say that or not? Oh, you're wasting my time. You're Am I lying, or this is what it says? This is in the front of you. This is the story. This is the Hadith. This is the reference, and it is Sahih. 
So what we will do now? It says that you'll be the first person to be resurrected. Yes, it says there. I will be the first person. Person, I'm just quoting exactly. I will be yes, the I'm first. Not. I will be the first person to be resurrected. Yes. Okay. What's wrong with that? Okay. Hold on. If he is the first person to be resurrected, how he will see Musa as holding oh. the throne? He'll be the first person resurrected on the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah. Yes. So, so how he see Abdul? How he will be the first person to be resurrected and already Musa is, is there? How I mean, how he will be the first to be resurrected and Musa already there? Musa is already there. Yes, it says in the same hadith in the front of your eyes. I will be the first person to be resurrected. <laughs> I mean, this guy is a drunk, obviously. He is the first one to be resurrected, but he will show Musa before him holding what? The throne. Okay, that had you basically saying after I was equal, he would be the first person resurrected and is not including Moses. Thank you very much. Guys, did he say that this is not including Musa? So what yes, Moses is, so how come he saw Moses there already if he is the first yeah. one to be resurrected? Are you saying that's a contradiction? Abdul, it's obvious it's Musa is already holding the throne. He will wake up from the grave. Allah will resurrect him and he will be the first one to be resurrected and you are the one who said to me a second ago Moses is not included thank you very much so that is confirmed so, so how he how he will see Moses holding the throne there if he is the first one to be resurrected are you are you confusing this one trying to say to you Moses is holding the throne and and Muhammad will be resurrected and you will see Moses okay so is Moses is Moses resurrected before Muhammad and according to this hadith that's what, that's what I see right now but then how he say I will be the first to be resurrected if Moses already resurrected before him, how he is the first to be resurrected? Okay, the hadith is saying, I will be the first person to be resurrected. Right, we'll see it, Moses. Abdul, Abdul, if I say I am the first man to be resurrected, it means there's nobody else to be resurrected before me. As simple as that, I am the first. Do you know what first mean? Do you know what first mean? So, how he is the first to be resurrected, yet Moses is there. Okay, that, if we, let's read from the top. He says the people will fall unconscious on the day of the resurrection, and suddenly I will see Moses holding one of the pillars of the throne. So basically, Moses is already there before Muhammad. Mm. So we understand that. So, okay, I understand that. Thank you very much. I, this is what I'm saying. You're a prophet when you claim that your prophet you went to the seven eleven heaven. He saw Abraham, he saw Isa, he saw uh, Moses, he saw Ishmael, he saw all the group, all, 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 all the gang. So now, when he went there, he seen the Muslim gangs in the heaven of Muhammad. How they are there if he is the first one to be resurrected? This is what we are talking about. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm trying to say to you, if you read the hadith in context, you say Moses will be there before Muhammad in the hadith. I know. Thank you very much. Well, we're repeating ourselves. Oh. You said that already. This is the question. So, Listen carefully, Abdul. Slow down, slow down. Relax, relax. Breathe, breathe. Okay. Moses is already that. Moses is already there. Abraham is yeah. already there. He said no, no, already. Abraham, no, is not though, no? is not he's, there. He said it, he didn't say that. No, I'm asking you, I, I, it doesn't matter, does Hadith or not? Is Abraham there or not? Why, well, yes, well, I'm asking you, is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? What? Why, 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 why are you confusing me? Are you talking about Israel? Are you talking about the day? Abdul, it doesn't matter. Is Abraham, it, it doesn't matter because if it's in Israel, if he is in Israel, Miraj, where Muhammad he saw them, he saw them in heaven. So they must be in heaven. So is yes, Abraham is Abraham in heaven? Yes or no? Say again. Let me say again. Is Abraham now in heaven? Yes or no? Not in body, not in body, but his spirit. His spirit. So Muhammad did not see his body, he saw his spirit. And uh, maybe can you pull up that was a reference? Abdul, what do you mean maybe? Let's be fair. Let's be, let's, let's be fair. Let's hold, hold on, 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 guys. Listen carefully. Muhammad, okay. he, he, this guy he's saying. The prophet he saw Abraham in his spirit. How you can see the spirit of Abraham? Okay, let's pull up the uh, hadith. But don't try to uh, trick people. Let's pull up the hadith where he says. Oh, 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 before Moses we go to any hadith, my friend, before we go to any hadith, explain to me what do you mean when you said that he saw him maybe in the spirit? Yeah, basically, you're saying uh, in body, obviously, when you die, your body dies, but your soul lives on. Mm. Okay. So. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say to you. Maybe that deep is talking about when he spoke to um, who's it called? Hmm. Isa and uh, who's it called? Musa. He probably saw them in, uh, in another form other than the body. So they are dead or, or they are resurrected there? Are they dead? Because if I am in heaven, I am resurrected. Hey, listen, when you die, you don't die. You don't, My friend, you know, it doesn't matter if I die or not. I am, I am dead. I am dead. Yeah. And now I am in heaven. Is that resurrection or not? Okay. If I am dead, 
Should I go yeah. to heaven directly or I need to wait for the day of resurrection, my friend? You have to wait for um, resurrection. Thank you very much. So, and that will be it's different. It's different. It's different for the prophet. My friend, what do you mean? Wait, so, okay, show me where it says. Show me where it says that the prophet. Yes, yes, show me. Show me where it says. Show me. Did he say it's different for the prophet? Guy, did you hear it? Did he just say it's different for the prophet? He said it is different for the prophet. So the prophet, they will not wait. They will be there. Where it says that the prophet of God. Hold on. Show me where it says that the prophet of God. They go to heaven directly. Well, you're trying to obviously they do 100 percent they're gonna go uh heaven directly. Well it says hundred percent. Did he say hundred percent they will go to heaven directly? Did he say one hundred percent? Did we just hear it? This liar he said to me, this is why we went back. He said, I did not say that. He said, I did not say that. Where I said that. Not only you said they go to heaven directly, you said one hundred percent. When Abdul he say 100% it's mean 100% a lie and he will deny his lie after two seconds. What is what is it? What it says that? What is it? Where it says that? If you're a prophet, you say listen, listen. Are you saying to me your prophet is not a prophet? I don't see why you because you <laughs> my friend, I am the Christian prince, and your God and your prophet and all of you, Abdul, you don't even have one percent of my brain. If I let my toes in a chat room to debate you, my toes will win, for I am a Christian prince. You need a billion year to be sent to the refurbished shop. Maybe you will get a close to be able to debate my toes, not my nose. How are you, Abdul? Did you hear yourself, my friend? No, no, I just called back right now. I never watched that. Did you did you did you not hear it yourself? Did you did not hear it? So are you uh, you are lying? Swear by Allah you did not hear any praying it, playing it back. You played it, you played it, but I never I was not listening to it. I was doing something uh, else. Oh so why so why you ask me to play it back if you want to listen to it? Why would I listen to something that I already know what I said? I'm not I'm no, not you deny it because you deny it, you are a liar. You said you did not say that one hundred percent you deny that the prophet will go to heaven one hundred percent. No, he did, no, he did, no, he did. When someone speaks, you cut them off halfway through Abdul, the Abdul. sentence. So and do then the, you shout, do ah. the prophet will go to heaven right away. Did you say did you say did you say did you say, did you say tactics, I don't you're play games? You cannot play games with me. I got you your busted. Games. You play games. Shut you play. up, send your dad to, to, to call me. I'm not going to talk to kids no more. You ask me to play it, you're coward. And now you call me back. You said I did not listen to it. For you are a scam. If you will not listen to it, why you ask me to play it back? And how you can be not listening, but yet you are texting in the chat. You are a liar like your prophet. You heard yourself saying it, and you say I was not listening. He is texting in the chat. He is in the YouTube with us, but yet he is not listening. Do you know why he's not listening? Because he don't want to listen. This is how they are. Thank you very much for those who send donation. May the Lord bless you. Who is Abdul? Want to be honest? Can we find the Abdul who dare to send? His uh, defense to defend uh, his prophet. No, no, we cannot. We cannot block liars, my friend. Because if we block the liars, then we cannot talk to Muslims. All of them they lie. They are following a liar. So what you what do you think? And here you notice right away how we got Muhammad busted. I'm not. I'm not getting this poor guy busted. This guy is just a guy. He have no idea. He's, he's trying to defend the foolish Muhammad. But Muhammad himself, he got himself busted. How Muhammad is the first one to be resurrected, but yet Moses is already there. The Abdul, he said to us, prophets of God, don't stay in the grave. They go directly. So Muhammad, he is lying. That's mean he is not a prophet because a prophet of God will not be waiting until the day of resurrection. <laughs> Do you see why Muslims don't dare to debate me, especially those who call themselves career? Builders,
This is why they avoid debating me. For those who they are saying how we can help in donation, my friend, there is a site, it's called Patreon. The link is down in the info. You can click on it and you can do it there. Thank you very much. And thank you again for supporting us. Your support is needed. Who is next? Who is the Muslim next? He there to tell us what's going on. So all what the Muslim they say about Muhammad went to seven out of heaven, it is nothing but a lie. How Muhammad he went to heaven and then he's, he find Musa there. Hello. Hello. Do you hear me, my friend? Sometimes people they have a slow connection, so we have to have to be patient. Hello. Yes. Hello. You, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Christian. You're welcome, my friend. Uh, I have a question. First of all, you said you are a Christian, right? Yes. What do you think of Muhammad? What? What do you think of Muhammad? False prophet. He's a false prophet. Why is a false prophet? Abused uh, God, you know. Okay. So, what is your question, my friend? Um, how to defeat a Muslim in a blasphemy country? How you defeat? How you debate Muslims in what? Blasphemy country like Pakistan. I don't understand. I'm. Can you speak more clear? In what country? In a uh, uh, country like Pakistan. Oh, well, I don't advise you to de to debate them there because the second you get them busted, they will accuse you that you insulted the prophet and they will try to kill you. Leave that for me. Tell them there's a guy there in the internet. Please go and call him. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank just you just for your safety and your security. Thank you for answering. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome, my friend. Thank thank you. Take care. Yeah. You do not need to debate them. Send them to me. Especially in those savage countries where people they are slaughtered for saying two words. I'm here for them. We are here every day. You see, the Muslims they look for somebody. He have a blue eyes. He have a blonde hair to debate him because simply he do not know Islam and he don't speak Arabic. And then when they debate with him, they say, <laughs> "Let me teach you Arabic, my friend. <laughs> Let me teach you Arabic." <laughs> you are right. You will see the coming videos. By the way, I have a video there for you in the in the in the Google Drive. I wish everybody to download it and share it everybody every day. This is the best comedy for the day. You will love you and your family when you watch it. Please download my video. It's in Google Drive there and share it everywhere you can. Let everybody love. I don't blame him to you as a voice changer, my friend. He's calling from Pakistan. Do we have any Abdul? He have the courage and the knowledge. This is a Christian prince that challenging you, your God, your prophet, and your angels. Have you ever heard of an angel? He bring a dish of shish kebab to his prophet, and the purpose is to fix his penis. That only happened in Islam. The video is in the info, my friend. Look at the info under the video, and the info of the video. It's, it says watch this comedy and there's a link drivegoogle.com and then you click in it a video will open download it share it and give it to your friends and again thank you for those who they are helping us like I saw a person he sent the five the dollars by the way for me I appreciate all those who support us doesn't matter if it's one dollar or five or even the gentleman who gave uh, 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 this amount of money uh, the big amount Thank you very much. Why I cannot defend the Bible? I just I do not first need to defend the Bible because how how who am I to defend the word of God, my friend? And you are the one who just defended the Bible. You are the one who said when Jesus resurrected, hundreds of people came from the grave. You just proved to us that Jesus is God. And Abdul they said to me, Where where it says Jesus is God worship me? You just you just admitted that. Same time, your prophet is the first to be resurrected. What about him calling Jesus so he can resurrect him to second? Why you want to wait? Is it Jesus in the Quran is the one who resurrect people from death? All what we need to do, 
We ask Muhammad, we give him the cell phone of Jesus. He call him, hello, I am the stupid Muhammad. I am in the grave. Please, can you help me, Jesus? Jesus will say to him, pray for me, worship me. I believe in me and I will resurrect you. Hmm? How you can say the Bible is a lie if your Quran confirmed the Bible? Abdul, did you say, did you say, you said the Bible is a lie? Did you say that? Are you there? Hello? Hello. Okay, did you say the Bible is a lie? Why is it still ringing? Did you say the Bible is a lie? I can't hear you. It's still ringing. The phone is, the phone is ringing. Uh, you you know? I'm asking you. Did you say the Bible is a lie? Call me, call me back. Say inshallah and your internet will be fixed. Say inshallah, my friend. Say inshallah. Religion of inshallah. Everything in this religion is inshallah. This is why nothing happened. You fear me, you fear the truth. Abdul, how are you? Do you hear me now? Yeah. All right. Okay. You said that the Bible is a lie. Is that true? No. Okay. So how you're a prophet, he says that he confirmed what is between their hands from the book, which is the Bible. Your prophet was confirming the lie. Say it again. How you're a prophet, he say, No, this is a different verse, Abdul. Different verse. Okay, how he say that? You say you are the one who said you are the one who said that the Bible is a lie. You're a prophet, he says, no. It is yeah. true, and I, I approve it, which is with you, which is with you. How he approve what is the with Bible them. Be changed. So are you saying in the time of Muhammad? Ah, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was not a change. Okay, let's read that verse. Can you just give me the reference to that verse? What do you mean, don't give me the verse? You do not know what verses I'm talking about? Chapter 2, verse number 89. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. okay. the verses we say the Torah and the people of the rabbis let, used us, to change let, it. let us focus with this one we will go to that one I promise you the verse after as well so to put it in context my friend read 10 verses before 10 verses after take your time do you want me to give you 10 hours to read and come back no i just need uh, 20 seconds no problem go ahead And are you going to wait for long, my friend? Uh, it's past tense. It's past tense. It's talking about the time of Jesus. What Isa. past tense? Where is the past tense? Where is the past tense? Okay. Where is the past tense? You know what? If you show me the past tense, I'm going to do the monkey dance for you, and I will open my camera. Show me the past tense. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, which, what is with them? With them? What is with them? What is with them? With them. Not, not, not. Jesus. What was with them? What, what is with them? I will say to you, I confirm you what is with you. It's mean now they have it, not what was with you. Okay, okay. He says, he says, he says, he says when I was called a book that Allah confirmed that which was was with the where, where it says the word was. Where is the word was? Show me the was. I, want, yeah, I, yeah, I love yeah, the word was. Yeah. I, I love the word was. That yeah, translation, man. this is your Muslim translation in front of me. Show me the word was. I love was. Lima. Huh? Lima. Lima? Ma Lima. Do you know what Lima mean? What is with them? Lima, Lima is not no, a past Lima tense. Can... Lima is not a past tense. Are you, are you stupid or what? If it is a past tense, why in the translation here saying to what is with them? Do you see the word is? Do you know what is mean? Do you see the word? Do you, do you see is? Yes, is. It doesn't say is there or no. 
reading a different translation, read the Israeli my, international. My friend, what about we go and read the interpretation? Are you willing for that? And if I show you the Israeli interpretation, if I show you the interpretation saying that, are you willing to open your camera and do the monkey dance for us? Israeli international. It's, it's only Sahih international you like? Read, yeah, read, read Sahih international. Read, I'm asking you, do you like only Sahih international? Yes, yes, yes. I find the authentic. Okay. Sahih international. Sahih inter guys, Sahih international is the authentic one. All right. Now, as read, long, read, okay, let, let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I oh, go, if, oh. if I if I go right now and I open Sahih International, do you accept all the translation of Sahih International or only this verse? M most of it. No, no. Don't tell me either. You, either Sahih International is good for you to be a Quran, or it is not good. Is it good for you? But why change subject? Let's read. The I'm verse. not changing top subject. I'm asking you which book you approve, so we can see a common ground between us. ولما جاءهم كتاب من عند الله مصدقا لما معهم. Yeah, لما معهم. It is what is between their hands. What is between their hands now? What what they have now? You are a liar. I want you to swear by Allah. Why say I'm a liar? I want. Okay, I want you to swear by Allah and Muhammad that it says there to what was with them, not what is with them. Swear. Wallahi, what I see in front of me, Sahih International, it says confirm. My friend, I don't, I don't care about Sahih International. Confirm to me what it says in Arabic. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. So now it says to me, I swear by yeah, Allah and me. Muhammad that it says there that he confirming what is not it what is with them okay. now, what it was with them. Say, uh, confirm lima, that, please. Lima in this context means was. Abdul, Wallahi, don't tell me. Was. You see, I don't have time for stupid kids. Let your dad call me. It's in the front of you, you coward liar. It's in the front of you. What is with them? This is Yusuf Ali translation. Let us try a different translation. Shakir. Shakir. Do you see it, guys? And verifying what that which they have. Do you see it? So the first translator it says what they have. The second translator says what they have. Let us see the third translation translation. Big tab. Here we go. Confirming that in their position. Do you see it? <laughs> so now we have a three translation. All of them they are saying confirming what they have. This guy here is making it even more clear. Confirming in their what is in their position. They have a position in it right now. Let us continue. Translator number four. Muhsin Khan. Read with me. Confirming what is with them. You are a potato and you've been fried. And by the way, I don't accept any Islamic translation, even for this verse. All of them, they are liars, as you see. But now we have a problem. This guy, when he called me, he said they fabricated later. Yes, Abdul, what do you want? I said for argument, let's say for argument, says the right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But but then and after him, after he said the Torah has been corrupted by the rabbis. Is that right? You are saying that the to the Torah is corrupt after that, right? Yeah. Just to be clear. Okay. After that, when? After Muhammad, before Muhammad, I mean, obviously not before Muhammad because he's confirmed what they have, right? Let's say for argument's sake, they have what is right. No, don't tell, context, me, don't tell me, don't tell me for argument's sake. Okay, you, you said, because you said to me before I said that to you, that it was corrected later after Muhammad. After, after Muhammad, he confirmed that. So, after that, when? Um, why, why they were alive? Was it, was it like, uh, when the Jews refused Muhammad, they were corrupting the Bible or the, the Torah already, or this is something happened long after, when Muhammad was inviting them to convert to Islam. Yes. So they were corrupting the the Torah already. Yeah. It's all by then. Huh? It was already corrupted by then. 
it was already corrected by then so you so your prophet should not take an oath by it right do you take an oath are, are you willing to take an oath by a corrupted book the what most Muslim think about the Torah and the Injil is basically there are some parts that are true and there's some parts that are lies My inside. Friend, a book is corrupt is corrupt there's nothing is called part no, of no. Part. the whole book either the book is corrupt or the book is not corrupt no, no. so okay we'll hold on hold on okay. okay hold we'll on I will, go, I will go with you we'll guys, we'll guys hold, on, hold on hold on hold on the book part of it we'll is corrupt okay if a book is part of it is corrupt and part of it is not corrupt are you willing to swear by the book which means whatever is inside the book, are you willing to say, I believe in you? Yes or no? Surah Bakhara 275. My friend, answer. Are you willing to, yes, if I give you a Torah right now, what you are saying, the Torah have part of it is corrupt and part of it is not corrupt. If I give you the Torah, which is have, according to you, what is corrupt and what is not corrupt? Are you willing to take an oath in that book? Today, no. Today, no. So how Muhammad, he take an oath by it? Show me the verse. The hadith in the front of you. It says that the prophet he said he he, he asked them to break the whole Torah, not a page of the Torah. They give him the Torah. He put his hand on it and he swear he said, "I swear by thee and the one who sent thee." Why he hang up? <coughs> call me back. Call me back, Abdul. What kind of a prophet? You Muslims keep saying to us that the Torah, the Bible is corrupt, and here we go. We find that your prophet, the hypocrite man holding the Torah, placing his hand. He took the cushion from underneath of him, treating the Torah with a lot of respect because he's a hypocritical man in front of the Jews. He's trying to show the Jews, I am one of you. I believe in your book. So he took the Torah, he placed it in the cushion to show how much respect he had for the book. And then he placed his hand in the Torah. And then he said, I believe in thee and him who sent revealed thee. How you do that? The whole story about the Torah being corrupted is a lie. Here we go. Muhammad himself is taking an oath by the Torah. The Muslims, we ask them, why, why? Muhammad King, they say because you Christian corrupt the Bible and the Torah. Obviously, this is false. Muhammad had no reason to come anyway. Do we have any Abdul have the courage and the knowledge? Everything you Muslims you say about Christianity and Judaism proved to be a lie and Muhammad is nothing but a scam He speak to the Jews. He act as a Jew. He's like Obama with the Muslims He's a Muslim with the Jew. He's a Jew with the Hindu. He's a Hindu with the Christian He's a Christian with the atheist. He's an atheist with the gays. He's a gay with the straight. He's a straight Who want to call me? Yes, Abdul Yo, why is why is it keep coming off? I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe because you did not take an oath. Maybe you need to take an oath, my friend. So why your prophet he took an oath in the Torah, my friend? Okay, let's not let's not go from the Quran to the Hadith. Let's stick to the Quran. No, no, we stick wherever we need to stick. Your prophet saying that. Respect, respect your prophet, please. Respect, show respect your show to, show respect your prophet. Show respect your prophet. Show. Read with me. Why you're a prophet? He did. Why you're a prophet? He took an oath on the Torah. Answer, please. I can't see your screen. First of all, but I'm gonna read this verse. This is not my. This is not my problem. Look at the screen. Look on YouTube. This is not my 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 problem. You look. Why you don't look? Are you blind or what? Maybe. Okay. This is maybe. Well, let let your your dad call me then. I have no time for kids. I have something for you. I put it out for you so you might read it. And then you say to me, I'm not going to read it and I don't want to look. Be a man. What kind of a prophet he take an oath in the fabricated book unless he is a scam? If a Muslim now he gave me the Quran and he said to me, Do you swear? Are you willing to swear in the Quran? I will say over my dead body. <laughs> Why you are calling me back again? Are you go? Are you willing to read it or not? 
Are you going to read it? Say? Are you willing to read it or not? I'm trying to I'm trying to read two screens at the same time because I'm on. Don't read two screens at the same time. Read one. What's wrong with you? Read this one first yes. and then read the second screen for me. Go ahead. Hello. Can you hear me? What are you, uh, you recording me if you want to read it? Read it, read it. It's very embarrassing. Why you're a prophet taking an oath in a fabricated book if this is a fabricated Torah? One second. I'm trying to read the YouTube at the same time. I'm, I'm on the phone. So give me. Or is this okay? Then. What's happening, my friend? Like his his connection maybe is not good. Are you there? Hello? Who is a Muslim willing to call us, please? I want a real educated Muslim. You see, as you see, those they claim to be educated, but obviously the more they talk, the more they do poo poo. You see, the problem with Muhammad, he can be a perfect prophet, but there's a problem in the claim. He needs to talk. And the second he talk, he don't talk, he do poo poo. And this is why we love how in the world Muhammad can be a prophet I challenge any Muslim to find me any reasoning to believe in Muhammad to be a prophet actually even look, you remember I have a debate with the Muslim Abdul he claimed to be a, a, a knowledgeable he said I said to him, what is the prophecy of your prophet in the Quran? Where is the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran? Because if you have a prophecy, it should be in the Quran. He said he don't have any. So why you call him prophet? Guys, let me prophesy for you. I am a Christian prince and I am a Muslim prophet. Next month, there is many women, they will have their period. And I predict that Allah, he told me, that next month somebody his faucet somewhere is going not is going to leak count my words and i predict that tomorrow in the highway somewhere in the world he is going to have an accident when he's driving his car and let me give you i just received a prophecy oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm downloading now it's coming it's coming yes right now as we speak there is a woman somewhere she is delivering a baby allahu akbar allahu akbar how he knew that Oh, hold on, hold on, I received another prophecy. The prophecy saying that this woman, she will deliver a, a baby. It might be a boy, it might be a girl. Yes, Abdul. Have you still on screen? I'm waiting for you to read. Is it still on screen? Yes. Okay, one second. Because, uh, can you just share it on the Skype screen? Abdul, don't waste my time. What's Skype? Go, don't call me again today. You're done. I, I give you more than, more than you deserve. Don't call me now. That's it. I want a new Muslim to call me. Why you don't take your time, you coward liar, and read it in the screen before you call me? Why you don't stop being, being a hypocrite liar? You did see it already. It is there. I have it there for the last 20 minutes. It takes you two seconds. Look in your phone, read it, and call me. Did you read it or not? Say, did you read it or not? I believe in don't, the, don't talk, don't talk. Did you read it or not? In, I if, believed in the if, if, if you read it, if you read it, did you read it or not? Huh? Did you read it or not? Yes, yes. Okay. So why yes. he said that? Why he said that? I said yes. Okay, why he said that? Why he said I believe in thee? Huh? Why your prophet take an oath in the Torah? Go ahead. I believe in thee. Hmm. I believed in thee and him who revealed thee. Hmm. 
Yes. Hmm. Why he said that? How he believe in thee and the one who revealed thee? Because if this is a corrupt book. Basically, the reason for that is basically. Hmm. Basically, what? I mean, basically, your Allah internet is horrible. Who is a Muslim? He have a good internet. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the connection is, but the, con it's okay. the connection is. We will have some patience. No problem. Now, why he is? Why you basically? What he is doing basically? Go ahead. So um, he's saying, I believe the thee and he, in whom I revealed thee. That's the that's for you as Muslim believers. So we also believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, and we believe in the Jinn. We're not Muslims, we don't believe My in friend, these three. This, is not, the so this is, to... is not a question. Place his hand over book, physically swearing by book. He is not yes, swearing sir. by a Torah to him long time ago. He is swearing by a physical book that his hand. He placed his hand on it, saying be talking to that book and who's so how he swear by the book it is Quran. But listen, uh, I think I believe in God as well. Abdul, so, this, is not the, this is not the question games. This is not the question. The question is how he believe in that Torah which is under his hand, that Torah. Yes. Yes, 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 brother. Yes. How he believe in it. How yes, what do you mean? Yes. It is a physical book between his hand. The Jews have it in that time. How it is corrupt, and he placed his hand on it, and he said, "I swear by thee." He did not even say the Torah. He said, "I believe in thee," which means thee, the book here, that book in the front of my hand. I believe uh, in I thee. Say, I want to say that's what he's saying. I want to say that that's what he's trying to convey. He's basically conveying the fact that I believe in thee, which he's talking about the book. The book he, which he is under his hand. Thee. What what is the what yes. is the thee? What is the thee? The book is under his he hand. Is, this is the engine. The book is under his hand, correct? Whatever, whatever book is under his hand, correct? Yes. Okay. How he swear by the corrupt book? Why really? That's okay. He says, "I believe in thee and in whom he revealed thee." Hmm. That's what basically he's saying. Why we can repeat ourselves? Like, are you a kid or what? We said, we said, you said that already twenty times already. Why he is? The question is not what he said. Now we know what he said. Why he is swearing by a book? It's corrupt. Is it corrupt book or not? Why? It's corrupt. So why he is swearing by it? If it's corrupt. So. Hmm. One second. Let me read the full passage. And then go on and then I'll read the question. Can you scroll down? Hello. 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 It's in the front of you. I scroll down. Time is up. You need all this time to tell me why he's taking an oath with it. All after all this call, you hang up. You call me. You hang up. You call me. You hang up or call me. And we go back from zero. Why he so is? We are basically, basically. Oh, what? I, can't, basically I can't give you the answer to that. You cannot give the me. answer to that. Okay, we need another. We need another Muslim then to call us. Thank you very much. You cannot. He cannot give me the answer for that. Obviously, this is a stupid thing. His prophet doing. He cannot explain how stupid his prophet is. He can't explain that his prophet is a scam. He can't explain that his prophet is a liar. He's taking an oath in a book. He don't believe him, because this is what it's called hypocrisy. This is what called a devil behavior. You don't take an oath in a book you don't believe in unless you really you believe in it. You don't take an oath by a fabricated book which is holding words not from God. And you say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. The second you say, I believe in the one who sent thee, it's mean everything in thee is sent by he, the one he believe in thee. Correct, guys? If I say I believe, if you give me a Quran and I say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, it's mean I believe in whatever written here and I believe in whoever sent that. If there's a corruption in the book, it's mean I believe in the devil. Do we agree? <clears throat> Who's next? <clears throat> 